five years, Brittany Goff suffered at the hands of a mysterious illness that left her chronically fatigued and in constant pain. But after being diagnosed with Lyme disease, she thought she'd found an answer to her health problems. Now, two years after that diagnosis, the 20-year-old's condition is becoming intolerable. I tell myself if the pain gets worse, I just didn't even want to live anymore. At the end of her rope, Brittany makes a last-ditch appointment with Dr. Daniel Joller. Her symptoms were compatible with a diagnosis of chronic Lyme disease. But I began to suspect there might be something else going on in addition to Lyme disease. Dr. Joller orders a series of blood tests to confirm his hunch. One month later, Brittany and Patty get the results. Brittany's test results showed that not only did she have persistent Lyme disease, but also confirmed that she was suffering also from babesiosis. I had never heard of babesiosis before in my life. I was completely shocked. Babesiosis is caused by a protozoan parasite called Babesia microti. When a person's infected, the parasite targets red blood cells, which transport oxygen throughout the body, and that can cause numerous problems for the host. Inside Brittany's bloodstream, the Babesia parasites continue to invade red blood cells where they feed and reproduce. Eventually, the parasites destroy the red blood cells, flooding the body with their offspring. As the Babesia parasites wipe out the cells, Brittany's oxygen levels decrease, resulting in extreme fatigue. It was very frightening and scary to know that I had a parasite living in my body for the past eight years and I didn't even know it. In many cases, those infected don't experience any symptoms because their spleen is able to remove the infected cells from the blood. But when the body's immune system is compromised by another condition such as Lyme disease, the spleen can become overworked and the Babesia parasite takes hold. If that happens, the consequences can be dire. The main fear that I had was that I was going to die because it can greatly affect you and kill you if you have a compromised immune system, which I had because I had Lyme disease that wasn't treated for so long. I was very scared. I was just concerned with what the treatment was, how long would it take, uh, would she be better, would she be worse. Dr. Joller prescribes a course of long-term antibiotic and antiparasitic medications to rid Brittany's body of foreign organisms. But as she begins her recovery, Brittany's haunted by one question. How did she become infected in the first place? Babesia parasites and Lyme disease bacteria are often found in the salivary glands of deer ticks. When an infected tick bites a human, both the parasite and the bacteria can enter the bloodstream and infect the host. I started thinking back and remembered the deer tick that I pulled off of her when she was about six years old. After my mom picked the deer tick off of me, a few days later I got a huge bullseye rash on me. So. My mom took me to the doctor and they put me on a short course of antibiotics and everything was fine after that. Doctors think that this is how Brittany contracted the diseases. Both babesiosis and Lyme disease can lie dormant for several years after a person has become infected. In these cases, the onset of symptoms can be triggered by a range of factors, including stress, trauma, or other illnesses. With the cause of her daughter's chronic illness now clear, Patty reflects on the years of uncertainty. When I look back at Brittany's entire childhood, I have a lot of guilt for feeling the feelings that I had that maybe it was in her head. It was hard for me to come to grips with knowing that my child was in such pain and there were times that I didn't have compassion for her. And I feel like I should have been a, uh, you know, a more compassionate mother in those times. During my recovery, I have had some angry and frustrating feelings towards my family for not believing me. But 
I've just kind of learned to let them go and forgive and put it in my past. Today, Brittany remains on her medications and is seeing improvement every day. Currently, I am a student. I enrolled back in college. I go to a four-year university. I'm finally starting to put my life back together. It's the best thing in the world for me to see my daughter actually living her life actively the way she was meant to be. I feel like I actually have my child back. Six